This video is nearly seven minutes long and it's about my passion. I love to build things. I love to build barbecues. That's my choice. That's how I relax on weekends and in holidays. Uh, watch it, enjoy it, comment on it, criticize me. Uh, I build things out of nothing. And that's what I like and that's what I do. And barbecue the way you want to and just build memories. My real passion for barbecue started at the age of 19 when we did a lamb for my dad's 50th birthday on a homemade spit. First mini project, a rocket stove that I built and successfully cooked some water for coffee. It then went to a larger one that worked like a furnace. My first smoker built with two drums, fire at the bottom, cooking chamber at top, three jam tins to get the heat up to the top, uh, cake racks to put the meat on and the wheels on the side tables was from an old gas barbecue. This was a very simple project with a washing machine drum, an old drum at the bottom for safety. I was so scared to burn things down because every house in New Zealand was made of wood. My first drum smoker I built that worked with charcoal. Again a drum, a lid of a Weber barbecue and the side tables and the wheels from an old gas barbecue. This was built on the concept of a smokinator where you have your main baffle, a water pan and to the left and the right some holes but with a little baffle on top of it. It worked very well because you could actually load the fire and load more charcoal from the side with a little door that opened to it. Another project I tried was to build, uh, successfully build a cold smoke generator that worked on a venturing system. Now that photo is not that clear because it's of one of my old videos but it worked very well and it worked with a little fish tank pump. This smoker that I've built was massive. It could smoke 18 racks of ribs and what I've done is I've used a three ring gas burner for the heat, uh, a box with wood chips in that you can pull in and out to refill the wood chips and as I said very successful built out of two drums and the lid of a Weber kettle. This was a very simple solution I had no legs for the Weber so I've put it inside a drum open it at the bottom and then also extended the grate by cutting one and a half and put some stainless steel bolts on it. This was a simple but I really enjoyed this little project because I made a stand for the lid of a Dutch oven or poiki like we call it uh, but for the same token I could carry the pot around put it on the stove uh, when it's hot and then dish up from there. I had no table or stand for the Jumbo Joe so I saw this at a dump shop and I got it for very cheap this walker and I converted it uh, to take the Jumbo Joe with a little side table uh, bottle opener and it worked really well and I put a few hooks on for the tongs as well and as you can see my dog approves. I bought a few garden trolleys at the dump shop and I forever make something else for it that will suit my barbecue needs and this time I made a camp stove with a two burner inside a heavy stainless steel pot that I cut off the bottom and it worked very well. This was actually a welding trolley I found out, another one I bought uh, with a gas cylinder, a project that somebody did halfway and that I turned into my Dutch oven cooker and later turned that into a little charcoal barbecue with a lid of the cop barbecue that I had. I guess if you have a barbecue one track mind it's not that bad everything I see I convert into something barbecue. There was an old wheelbarrow that I painted, put a cake on top of it and converted it into a rotisserie and the fabulous food from there uh, that the family enjoyed with skewers and uh, meatballs and steak and sausages and veg, incredible. 
You get stages and side tables became a thing on social media for Weber Kettles. So I've decided to make one. It worked out well, it folded away and I would say that was a success and another thing I enjoyed to make. I made this tripod stand for camping. It can take a normal grit, it can take Weber grits, it can take a wide grit up to 600 millimeters wide and it also fits my kettle if I want to do some fatty chops or uh, some lamb ribs. It works well, it's extendable and I really liked it and made it from 316 stainless steel. My barbecue antics and YouTube movies got me on reality TV where we basically build a bomb and not a barbecue in a competition. Uh, they search for somebody. It took me to uh, Magnolia in Arkansas for the Steak World Championships. It took me to Memphis in May where I met beautiful people uh, because I won a national championships in barbecue and from nothing, absolutely nothing, just living your dream and following your passion. This was my dad, an absolute genius, a farmer, a coach builder and engineer. And in the late 70s, early 80s, up to the 90s, he never stopped working. He could work so hard. He built a, a barbecue uh, upright from a 210 liter drum with height adjustments. And I've never reproduced it. So this holiday coming, I'm going to do it. I'm going to build that barbecue. I can still remember it because I built it with him. And I'm going to honor him and I will showcase the barbecue. Thank you so much for watching this whole video. Please subscribe for more videos to come.